Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. Hello, good evening. Welcome good evening, to the Eddie. jungle. <laughs> Excellent. Welcome to the jungle. Yes. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's a good day because uh, it's Friday, right? Uh, how are you? Yes, I'm yes. Doing good. How are you, Omar? I'm fighting teachers. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Algo de <laughs> Por el trabajo, ¿qué pasó anoche? Yes, me tocó trabajar. Ventana le llamamos. Y ¿Qué es ventana? Sí, toda la noche. ¿Mande? ¿Qué es ventana? Ventana le llamamos a uh, cuando nosotros, when we were uh, at night, uh, for uh, we affect to client at the red. So what is cuando what vamos is... a realizar una afectación cu cuando vamos a realizar una afectación en la red de internet este realizamos el corte en la noche para que mm -hmm. no, no así como estamos ahorita usando internet y todo eso entonces este no seamos afectados hacemos el corte de 10 11 de la noche en adelante oh. pero entre todo eso hacemos algo que no afecte, ¿verdad? Mientras se llega a esa hora y cortar la señal. Lo que pasa es que se está mejorando en la red de Tigo. Mm, ¿Yo work for Tigo? Yes. Se está mejorando, entonces, este, debido a eso, se están haciendo varios cambios. Este, se está haciendo, se le llama segmentación. Mire, que yo he y... querido contratar Tigo aquí en la zona que vivo, pero nunca ¿Dónde vive, tiene acceso. ¿Dónde vive usted, Ticha? En un cantón de Osotlán, Osotlán. Ozatlán, mm, precisamente antier, fuimos por ahí a cambiar una red también, un equipo más, eh, prácticamente es lo que se cambia. Ayer anduvieron, ay, no, antier y, vaya, quiero ver, martes y miércoles anduvieron cableando aquí, anduvieron con una cosa grande cableando. Ah, pues se va a meter red nueva por ahí. Ah, no, no, pero no eran ustedes, ya me acordé, era otra compañía, era otra compañera que era Cablesat, una que es de acá. Pero ah, sí, yo he querido que sí, contratar que... tantas veces acá en internet de este, pero no, nunca tiene Tigo acá. Les he llamado, mm. siempre hacen pruebas y me dicen, ah, si no contamos en su zona, me dicen. Sí, lo que, lo que sucede ahorita, mis, que, bueno, la política que tiene ahorita Tigo, que se está introduciendo en todos los lugares donde no había, y donde hay, está tratando de mejorar la red. Y está también introduciendo la tecnología de Jipón. A la que me comentó la vez pasada, ¿verdad? Exactly, yes. Entonces, esa tecnología también ya la tiene claro y hay otras compañías. Pero Tivo le está apostando a eso también. Este, just, eh, juntamente con la mejora de la red existente, y está también introduciendo la, la red de Jipón. Que les ha venido a hacer competencia lo del Starlink, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, al parecer sí. Entonces, como que quieren hacer algo para no... Presión. <risa> para que no le afecte esa competencia, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Exacto. Bueno, voy a llamar, ya, me, ya, me, ya me, me, me interesó, porque yo iba a contratar a Starlink, pero si me dice, le voy a llamar y le voy a preguntar a ver si ya andan buscando acceso por aquí. <risa> sí, okay. lo que puede hacer por lo general hay vendedores que se meten hacia los lugares, a las colonias y lo que pueden hacer es como que el, pídale un censo o como o de si cuánta no... gente contrataría acá el servicio ajá, ellos evalúan digamos la población el departamento de venta este es trabajo del supervisor de venta eh, en conjunto con los, los, los ejecutivos, entonces hacen un censo, un estudio, como lo que hemos estado estudiando, okay. ¿verdad? Este, eh, hacer el testing, ¿qué? Antes de, eh, o sea, bueno, ya, antes de lanzar el producto. Ajá, ya vale, entonces lo que hacen, evalúan y este, si ven de que la inversión que van a hacer amerita, eh, solo por uno no llegan, ¿verdad? Por uno ah. no, 
No claro, es mentira. Claro. Okay. Yes. Ok, thank you. Gracias por la información, Omar. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bueno, la orden. Ok, excellent. Good. That's good to know. Ok. Let's go, you guys, because it's 8.05, 8.06 already. So we need to go with the attendance because, you know, we need to go with the topic we have for today. And all the... Wait a minute. Something like kind of a problem. Wait a minute, please. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna go with the attendance and also remember that we have to be working on the platform. Okay, please remember we have to be working on the platform because um, if you are connecting to the classes but you're not working on the platform it's like you're not doing anything, right? It's like you go to the school, but you don't present the homeworks, you don't do the exams, you don't do the test, you like you don't do anything. So please be here in the classes, the two hours complete, but also work in the platform. That is very, very important, okay? So I'm gonna go here now <clears throat> with the attendance for this day. Just give me a second, because I don't know what this is. God, give me one more. Okay. This is the one. Okay, anyways. So, Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Okay. Um, Angela Guadalupe Hernandez Sanchez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Denise Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present. Eric José Reyes Molina. Jennifer Esmeralda Maya Arias. Jennifer Esmeralda. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Okay. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. José Figueroa Cisneros. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Presente. Ramiro Rafael Agu Aguilar Díaz. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Presente, Miss. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Sí, Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa Omar Set Galicia López Present En Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera Ok, excellent So we go and continue with today's class As you know, in these last classes We have been talking about what? Do you remember the topic we have been talking about? ¿Se acuerdan de qué tema hemos hablado? No, you don't remember? Yes. Okay, yes. so what was the, what is the topic? Uh, create a, a prototype. Project. Creating yes. a prototype. And what is a prototype? Can you tell me what is a prototype? A new product after an, the sales. After the launch, right? after the launch it's a new product be, like no yeah no before the launch before, before the launch, it, have it. we have to do the before because it needs to test if we have problems if we have any issue in the building of it right so we're gonna continue today and we're gonna go here with a conversation that we have here let me check yeah, we have a conversation. In this conversation, we have more vocabulary 
And let me check, we have a grammar. Yeah, we have a grammar topic that is how to use indirect questions, yes and no questions. So before, before we go with that, we're gonna start with the conversation. Let me see because I have some exams. I mean, I have some chats. Okay, Ramiro, I hope so too. I hope your internet gets fixed. Eric is here, Jennifer too. Okay, Jennifer will be listening. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. So as you can see, here we have uh, a conversation. I'm gonna share it with you. There you go. Okay, in this conversation, uh, the grammar point or the grammar topic that we will pay attention to is the letters or the words involved, right? Uh, remember that every time that we do a conversation, the first time I do it, I do it for pronunciation and the second time is for intonation. Remember you guys, now I'm not evaluating like your pronunciation. Yes, always, siempre evaluo su pronunciación. But now I think what is most important is you improve your intonation as well. También la entonación, ¿verdad? I need you to improve your intonation as well as with your pronunciation. Now, if you have questions, you can ask me. I'm sending you, uh, also I'm sending you the, the audios to the WhatsApp group right? No audios, you know, the audios to the WhatsApp group. So you can listen to them and know how we say these things, okay? If you have questions about pronunciation, you can always ask me, okay? You can always wait a minute, ask me. Okay, let's go. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the product production process. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. So there are three people in this. Yeah, three people in this conversation. Perfect. I liked us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise. My files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Now, before we continue, I'd like to mention um, some things we say together, algunas cosas que decimos juntas, okay? So just pay attention to them. I have, thank you, Lucia. I like us, for example, this one, like us. It's not like us, not like us, not like us, all together, like us. Steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo, right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg, Marta, would you mind telling us, también esto, telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high. Of course, let me revise my files. Rick, could you, also this, could you, remember we don't say the letter L, we say could you, could you. No, could you, no, it's could you, could you, okay? Oh, these two, find out. Lo decimos todo junto, no vayan a decir find out or find out is together, find out, okay? Find out. Miren, estoy palabra por palabra. Pues, like you're do practicing things. So I, I, I'm making my part here. If the production manager is around, I need him, get this one too. I need him, need him, need him. I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay, just that. Okay, would you like me to repeat the pronunciation before I go with intonation?
You want me to repeat in a specific pronunciation or I can go with intonation. That is okay. No? Okay. So if you don't have questions about um, pronunciation, I'll go with intonation now. Okay. Let's go. Okay. I wonder, wait a minute, wait a minute. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd, remember this is I'd. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Remember, it's not finished. No me voy a decir finished. Que me va a dar algo. Así me empezó a temblar el ojo. It's finished. Finished. Okay. Ponte al final. Finished. Yeah. That's a good point, Greg. Martha, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. With that being said, I'm going to send you an audio to the WhatsApp group. Wait a moment. Okay, here we are. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated. Once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. Y ahora, como todavía no voy a pasar de buena porque quiero que tengan una excelente pronunciación, voy a ir intervención por intervención. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Okay. Y ustedes, claro que así lo escuchan. ¿Yo cuántas veces acabo de repetir esta conversación? Una, one, two, three, y con esta cuatro. ¿No? Ustedes pueden hacerlo. Y te estoy haciendo la participación de todos. My God. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Si yo le he podido practicar este montón de veces, ustedes más, right? Yes? Yes? Okay. Remember, nothing is going to happen magically, okay? Aquí no estamos en una película de Harry Potter para que por arte de magia. No, right? So we need to 
of course, we need to practice that way that you're going to improve your English pronunciation, right? Let me see. Okay, and you have the audios. Pueden repetir y repetir y repetir esos audios, right? Okay, let's go. Si no funcionan los grupos, me avisan. Hello, partners. How are you? ¿Quién nos va a compartir? Hello, what happened? Yo no puedo.
Okay. I start. I wonder okay. if you recite. Okay, a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. Okay. Silvia. I have, thank you. Lucia. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I'd like you to re revise the step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Okay. Silvia no iba a ser great. Right. Silvia. <laughs> no sé, okay. creo que salió. Right, right. I like to know if the quality control. Yeah, that's a good point, girl. Marta, could you find me telling us if the cost to run a second quality control we go very high? Of course, let me revise my fields. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. <clears throat> okay, um, let's start again. Uh, choosing the person, yeah, I am Martha. Okay. Alfredo, you are Lucia? Okay. Step should be re spent, re spent on once the product is finish, finished. Finished. Okay. Excellent. Finished. Finished. Yeah. That's a good point, Greg. Marta, uh, would you make, would you make a uh, telling use is the cost of cost to run a second quality con quality control? We go very high. Of course, let me revise my.
Okay, listen, you guys. You have the audios to practice pronunciation. If you're not sure about a pronunciation, look it up. Si no están seguros de una pronunciación, búsquenla, ¿ok? Con, de calma, despacito, slow. Y luego vamos con pronunciation. Practice, practice, practice makes perfect, ¿ok? Porque estoy escuchando que van repitiendo muchas palabras. Van repitiendo muchas palabras mal. Que, por ejemplo, digan um, finished, finished, finished. Y después se les va a quedar como finished, cuando en realidad es finished. Finished, ok. So, busquen paciencia para que la pronunciation vaya mejorando, ok. That's what we're doing right now. Si tienen questions, quieren que les llegue a ayudar con una pronunciación que no, 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 no les da, no funciona, call me. Ahí tienen un botón para mandarme a llamar. Aquí estoy para ayudarles, ok. But try to practice pronunciation and intonation.
Hello, Jocelyn, welcome. Está de oyente. Yes, Miss. I I'm start to driving. Okay, excellent.
<clears throat> Hello, welcome back. So we're going to continue, okay? Let's see. Mm -hmm. And I hope that when you go, when you went to the breakout rooms, you practice pronunciation, you practice intonation, you practice as much as you could, because you know that is what we need. We need to practice as much as we can, because pronunciation is about that, right? Practicing. Y hay una cosa que yo no sé si se las he explicado que se llama fosilización. ¿Se los he explicado la fosilización? Yeah. ¿No? Bueno, el fosilization significa cuando yo digo una palabra mal dicha, muchas veces mi cerebro la procesa como que es correcta. Entonces ya la empiezo a decir así. Por mucho que a mí me expliquen de que la palabra no se dice así, ya la fosilice acá. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo decía cuando estaba en segundo año de universidad, I live in El Salvador. Y a mí nadie me sacaba de que live se decía live. Entonces, como yo lo había repetido muchas veces, right, eso se fosilizó. Cuando ustedes empiezan a decir finish it, finish it, finish it, porque fue una palabra que escuché mal dicha varias veces, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it, entonces su cerebro dice finish it, ya no puede procesar el finished, right? Finished. ¿Qué debo hacer yo? Para eso están los audios. Escúchelo, escúchelo, escúchelo y después repite. Siento que ustedes se lanzan de un solo a la pronunciation y así como, a como caiga, ¿verdad? Yo a salir de repetir esto voy, right? Es como que yo vaya al gym y agarre mis pesas y el, el entrenador me dijo, haga 10 repeticiones y yo haga 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ya las hice. ¿Cree usted así? Este, este es, este es el, el, ¿cómo es? El órgano, el músculo más importante, no sé. Pero si usted quiere ir al gimnasio y que entrenar su músculo, yo creo que el músculo debe pensar, ¿verdad? Uno. El músculo debe pensar. Dos, y con paciencia debe pensar. No, sí saben eso ustedes, ¿verdad? Que el músculo tiene que pensar para que sea efectivo el ejercicio. No tiene que ser uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Right? Es uno, dos. Entonces ustedes van, hacen la, pro, pro, la pronunciation del, 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 ¿cómo es? La conversation y dicen, bla, 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 bla. Vaya, ahora usted tal cosa. Y no se han fijado si lo han hecho bien, right? So that's what I need. I need you to pay attention to the pronunciation and intonation when you are speaking. Porque si no, se van a fosilizar esas palabras en su mente. Y ya no las va a decir de la manera correcta. Ok? So there we go. I need you to pay attention to it. Yo no les estoy mandando a hablar ya en cinco minutos. I'm giving you time to practice because that's what we're doing in this module. We are practicing pronunciation, intonation, and fluency when speaking. That's why you do a lot of presentations, right? In every class, you do a lot of presentations. Okay. As you know, we have three people in this conversation. We have Lucia, 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 and Lucia. Uh, we have Marta and Marta, and we have Greg, Greg, right? Para que no se confundan, so you don't get mistaken. We have three people in this conversation. Okay, so for the first pe person, it's going to be Lucia. I'm going to choose Veronica Burgos. For the second person, that is Marta, I'm going to choose Ana Veronica. And for Greg, I'm going to choose Oscar. Okay, let's go. Veronica, what was your start? Live, camera, action. Okay. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like us to reverse the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control that should be repeated once the production product is finished. Yeah, that's good point, Greg. Marta. Would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? 
Of course, let me revise my files. Correct. Could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Excellent. Let's give them an applause. Good job. You did a good job. Excellent. Good job. Just solo four mistakes. Only four. Yeah, only four. That was that was good. So this one uh -huh. is revise, right? Revise. This one in Spanish we say shampoo because it has a tilde at the end, right? But in this case is shampoo. Shampoo, right? Without the tilde, shampoo. 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 Right. And this one should, should, without the L, should, should. Okay, yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens. You see, I'm telling you. Excellent, you guys. Thank you, Veronica, Ana Veronica, and Oscar. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, let's go with some other participants. I'm going to choose this time. Okay, uh, Maria Julia, you're going to be Lucia. Sandra, you're going to be Marta. And Omar, you're going to be Greg. Okay. Okay. Lucia, I mean, Maria, you start. I start. I wonder if you re receive a copy on the analysis for the production <clears throat> process. I have. Okay. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like you to re revise the step to very that we are ready to start producing our new our new shampoo. Right. I would like to know if the quality control step should be spread on once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point. Great. Marta, would you mean tell us if the cost to run second quality control will go very high? Oh, of course. Let me write my file. Great. Could you me could you find could you find out if the production manager is around around? I need him to clarify that that the re, re, revision step about. Okay, good job. Give them an applause. Demoles un aplauso. Excellent, excellent, good job. Ok, you guys. Recuerden que cuando yo hago corrections es para que mejoren, ¿verdad? That's what I do. Yeah. Ese es mi trabajo, mi trabajo, please. Así que allow me to do my job. Ok, vamos a hacer eh, uh -huh. pronunciation, vaya, ¿verdad? Production, sí. no production, pro do, do, production. Production. Eso se dice todo junto, like us. Like, like us. us. Revise. Revise. Steps. Step. Step. Verify. Step. Verify. Ready Ready. 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 You see? Ready. 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 Repeated. 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 Finished. 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 Conté al final. Finished. 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 Mind. Mind. Telling us. Mind. Telling us. Telling, telling us. Run. 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 Find out. Find, Find out. out. Around. 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 Clarify. Clarify. Y eso se, 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 lo que pasa es que no la dijeron. So <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's around, it's around, okay? So now I would so like wow. to go with, let's see, we're going to go with Monica Avalos. This is the last one. We're going to go with Johnny. Well, Monica, you're going to be... No, wait. Espérenme, déjame un segundito. Quiero ver quiénes faltan, quiénes están presentes. O sea, we have Oseas. We have... Okay. Oseas, you're going to be Lucia. Okay. Johnny, you're going to be Marta. And Monica, you're going to be Greg. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Okay. I start. Yeah. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have. Thank you. 
I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him, I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Good job. Excellent. Give them an applause. Yeah. No mistakes. No mistakes. Yeah. Good job. I like it. And yeah. Yeah. That V2. The same. The same here. You see? We can do it. That's the thing. That's the thing, you guys. We can do it. It's not difficult. For some people, it's more difficult. For some people, it's easier, right? It's a little more fácil. In my case, remember, yo ya les dije mi testimonio, right? Como que esto fuera de decir testimonios y eso. I was bad at English. Dos años de estar estudiando inglés, yo decía, I live in El Salvador. I was bad. I sucked. Yo era malísima. Like, really bad. But it took time, right? It took time, and eventually, I learned to speak English but because I practiced, okay? Hice cosas que me gustaban para aprender inglés. I learned the lyrics of songs because I like music, right? I learned, or I watched um, TV shows in English or I will think about things in English or talk to myself in English. So that's how I learned. Everyone is different. So everyone is going to have a different process to learn, okay? Anyways, that's good. Thank you very much. Remember, when we go to the break rooms, we go to practice. If you have questions or you don't, you are not sure about the pronunciation of a word, you can ask me, okay? You can always ask me. Okay, now we're going to answer the three questions we have here using the conversation that we just practiced, okay? So the first question we have is, what is the new product Lucia, Marta, and Greg are discussing about? So what is the new product? Number two, what are two steps of the production process they mentioned in the conversation? <laughs> and number three, what did Greg suggest about the production process? So we're going to answer these three questions in the breakout rooms, and then we're going to come back. Do you understand the activity we're doing in this moment? Yes, I got it. Excellent. Good job, you guys. Okay, That's remember... Fun. If your group is not working and people are not participating in there, you can always ask me, okay? Let's go.
Ah, no, 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 Apela, no, 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 You, you can practice the pronunciation of the question and answer. Maybe we can we can write uh, repeat or repeating the quality control once the product is finished. Repetir el control de calidad una vez que el producto ha sido terminado. Product Lucia, Marta, and Craig are discussing about shampoo. ¿Cómo le cómo? Practiquen, si no me voy para otra sala y que les comparta otro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are the what are the step of the production process they mentioned in the converse, converse, conversation right I'd, la, I'd like to I like to know if the quality control step should be rep, repeated when the when the product is finished what did Greg suggest about the production process?
Okay, let's do the questions. Let's go with question number one. And I'm going to ask it to Jose Alfredo. Okay, Jose Alfredo, what is the new product Lucia, Marta, and Greg are discussing about? Uh, a new shampoo. A new shampoo. Thank you very much, Jose Alfredo. Choose the next participant, please. Okay. Um, my friend, Jose. Okay, Jose. And ask the question, please, Jose Alfredo. Ask him the question. Okay. <laughs> why, Alfredo? Why me? My friend, hello. <laughs> what, what are the two steps of the production process they maintain in the conversation? So I I could find one step uh, quality control. And I think the other maybe could be analysis for the production process. I don't know. Okay, okay. Uh, production steps to verify that we're ready to start producing. Production. Use this production. Use the product is finished. Quality control. No, we have two. We well, we have well. Let me see. Production process. No, we have one production. Quality control. And the in the cost. Oh yeah, financial right. The cost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Osea, choose the next participant and ask the question number three, please. Okay. Anna Veronica, what did Greg suggest about the production process? He he would like to know if the quality control step should be repeated. So he suggested to repeat the pro the quality process, right? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you. Excellent. You did a good job. Excellent. Now, we're going to talk about non-direct questions, okay, or indirect questions. These questions that we ask are using the auxiliaries can, would, or could, right? Uh, these questions, actually, they are just to sound a little bit more natural when speaking, well, and a little bit more polite. Do you remember what polite means? Yes. Cool, cool. Yep. So to be polite is Edu to be edu educado. Exactly. Oh, okay. Polite I'm person. Honest. Exactly. So for example, when you uh, say uh for example mm, I want to see the menu. For example, you are at a restaurant and you say I wanna see the menu. But if you are going to be polite, you're gonna say, Could I see the menu, please? Right? That's going to sound a little bit more polite. Or if you say, can I see the menu, please? So those things are the ones that we're going to practice. Actually, it's not a complicated topic because we have seen could, would, and should, and all those things as auxiliary verbs, right? Or modal verbs. Now, here is the thing. These are uh, non or indirect questions using um, yes and no questions, OK? Okay, so for example, let's say I have this question. Is she the teacher? So I'm asking a person if this person is the teacher. So, hey, I don't know the teacher. Is she the teacher? But if I want to sound a little bit more polite, I will say, can you tell me, podría decirme, can you tell me if... Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Can you tell me if she is the teacher? Now, the only thing that changes with the structure of the question is that in the first case, I have the verb to be at the beginning before I write the she, and in this one, I have it after the she, right? Because in this case, this part is the beginning of the question, not this part, okay? So in this case, this is just a simple question, okay? 
And this one right here is a polite question, okay? Even if you wanna make it more polite, you can add at the end, please, right? Can you tell me if she's the teacher, please? Like, that's a polite question. It's polite. Polite meaning being amable, right? So this is a simple question. And this is a polite question. Using can. Now, we can also do it in other ways. For example, if you say, um, do you... Do you have... Do you have the book? Ah, uh, no, this one doesn't doesn't go. Tiene que ser algo que yo pida o algo que yo like an example. Let me let me let me let me let me see something just about the indirect questions. Could you tell? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I have it. Okay. For example, if I say, and this one is. For example, do you live here? This question is simple, right? Do you live here? It's easy, it's not complicated, and also it's not a, a rude question. No es que estoy haciendo una pregunta grosa. But if I add, can you tell me? Can you tell me at the beginning of it? Ya la hice formal, okay? Can you tell me if, and now, in this case, I'm not going to need the do, okay? Because do is an auxiliary, pay attention to this. Do is an auxiliary to make a question. But in this case, I'm opening the question with this, okay? So it is not necessary to add the auxiliary verb. So in this case, I'm just gonna say, can you tell me if you live here? Okay, like that. I'm not using the auxiliary verb. Again, I repeat because this one right here is just a simple question. And this one right here will be, wait a moment. What did I do? Is, my God. Oh yeah, there we are. Okay, so this is a simple question. And this one right here is a polite question, okay? Now, do you have questions about this or is everything clear? I think it's clear. Okay, perfect, good job. Okay. Talking about this, we're gonna go here. I don't know, tomar un screenshot, but I don't know if you wanna take a screenshot. If you wanna take a screenshot, it's there. If you don't, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Okay, now, this one right here, let me show you this. So this is just an example. We can look at this conversation and this is not with a closed question. Esta no es una pregunta de yes or no, right? This one is an open question. And this is a uh, indirect question or polite question. For example, you're saying, excuse me, excuse me, this is, sound, this is sounding polite, right? This is polite, excuse me. Could you tell me, you see this, where the nearest station is? Donde esta la estación más cercana? Certainly, it's along the road. Thank you. And do you know if there is a supermarket near here? Okay. Now, let's see at this. Let's see, these are two examples. This is a direct question. The question that is a simple question, but it's direct. Where is the bank? I can say, hey, hi, how are you? Where is the bank? But if I want to be polite, then I'm gonna add this. Hey, could you tell me where the bank is, right? Can you tell me where the bank is, okay? Now, going back to the book, because in the book we have, oh, what happened? Ah, porque me salió el libro. Damn. 
Okay. <sighs> Wait a minute. I have to go all the way down here. Give me just a second. Okay, here we are. Okay, this is the explanation that the book is teaching you, right? We are using indirect questions to ask questions in a more polite manner, right? That's what we're talking to about. An indirect question expresses the same meaning as a direct question. Expresa lo mismo, right? But it does not present question word order, right? No tiene una orden de, de pregunta, por eso le diga se, se suplanta todo lo demás. We have, I wonder, I wonder is a phrase that we can use. Me preguntaba, o me pregunto, I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. This is a indirect question. Esta es una pregunta indirecta. Pay attention to this. Not only, no parece pregunta, sino es como, me preguntaba si ya recibiste una copia del análisis de producción, right? Just that. Compare it to, esta es una pregunta directa, did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? You see, these are two questions. This is a question as well. But in this one, you are following the process to make a question. You have a question mark and you have the auxiliary at the beginning of this. Now, this is an indirect question as well. So we have, I like to know, you see, that is a phrase that we can use for indirect questions. I like to know, this is the abbreviation for I would like to know, right? I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished, right? In that case, we're also do making a question, right? Compared to, should the quality control step be repeated once the product is finished? You see, this is different. Now we have some other examples here. And in this case, yes, we're using a question mark. Marta, would you mind telling us? So this is the opening of the question. This is sounding polite, right? Would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Compare it to, will the cost to run a second quality control go very high? So what I'm adding, just what I'm adding is this. I'm adding that to be some polite. In the number two, so remember, eh, para que pongan atención, please. Estas son frases que les van a ayudar también para hacer preguntas indirectas, okay? Okay, like, no, wait, wait, wait a second. I wonder, I like to know, would you mind telling us, could you find out, okay? So, Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? En comparación a, is the production manager around? So these ways I'm sounding a little bit more natural, okay? And if you pay attention to this, we have something there that is very important that we are repeating. If, 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 you see? We are using the if to talk about it. Now let's go here when we have like a structure. Notice that if, Look, if, that important part, introduces the indirect question, which will have sentence order, subject plus verb, helping verbs like do, does, and did are not included in indirect questions. Estos auxiliares no van incluidos. Quiero repetir, okay? So I was telling you, they are not part of this. Wait a minute. They are not in this part of questions, right? Punctuation. Now, this is important for punctuation. When the introductory segment is a phrase, the resulting statement with the direct question will take a period and not a question mark at the end. Cuando dice, cuando la frase introductoria de la oración, okay, when the introductory segment is a phrase, cuando es una frase, no una pregunta, okay? Miren, lo notan? ¿Qué hace que note si es una frase y no una pregunta? Porque aquí no hay orden de pregunta. ¿Ven? ¿Sí? Entonces al final voy a poner un punto. ¿Yes? 
pero si la pregunta, se los estoy diciendo en español porque quiero que quede claro como el agua, si la frase introductoria de la pregunta indirecta es una pregunta, o sea, tiene estructura de pregunta, yo voy a poner un question mark al final. ¿Y cómo voy a saber si la frase introductoria es frase o es pregunta? Porque aquí, miren, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Pero aquí dije, tenemos verbo, auxiliar y luego el sujeto. ¿Sí? Pilas ahí. Son las dos diferencias. ¿Ok? Subject, modal verb, subject. Here, subject, modal verb. That is how we know, right? Ok. Now, we are going to practice a little bit. I know you might have questions, but that's what we're going to do in this moment. ¿Ok? Wait a moment. Permítanme un segundo. Okay, now let's try to make the first one together, okay? Can you tell me is the machinery capable of performing these processes? Okay, aquí solo nos falta una cosita, ¿verdad? Y vamos a tener que tener cuidado, ¿ya? Porque acá empieza como pregunta, ¿sí? So if this is starting as a question, we have a rule for that. So I'm going to rewrite it. Can you tell me? Okay. Wait a moment. Que se vea bien. Okay, can you tell me? ¿Qué necesito ahí para unir la, la oración con la pregunta? If. 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 Exactly. You see? Easy, easy. Can you tell me if. Now, I'm not going to add is at the beginning of this. I'm not going to add is because this is the question. So, is will not be there. Vamos primero con el sujeto. Can you tell me if the machinery now we say is, right? Can you tell me if the machinery is, because this is not a question now, can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing these processes? En question mark, porque aquí iniciamos como que fuera una question. So, obviously, vamos a añadir un question mark, ¿ok? Vamos a ir a hacer las 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 in the breaker rooms. Do you understand the activity? Yes, miss. No, yes, yes, miss. Yes, miss. Ok. Yes. The only thing that we changed is that we added if, miren, solo añadimos if, y luego el verb to be cambió de posición. Yes. That's the only thing that changes, yeah? Okay? So, take a screenshot, send it to the WhatsApp group so we can go and work on these exercises. Let me see. Okay, you're ready? I'm ready. Please, we're ready. Excellent. Good job. Let's go. Sandra, I sent you the invite. Ahí tienen los invites para que se puedan unir. Silvia. Jenny. Let's go.
are complete. No. Huh? Do you know? You know if the schedule in production production are. In the sketch, I will um fill the area. Are yeah. Are I have a question for you. In the okay. number two says, I like to know. Okay. Y al final pone un question mark. Empieza como pregunta o empieza como una sentence. Ah, okay. Uh, sí, no es pregunta, es lleva puntos. Period, ya. okay. And okay. also falta la comita arriba del I, ¿verdad? Ah, es que esta me cuesta ya la mitad. Well, Quiero ver si me Se acuerdo. le pierde. Sí, esa, esa, la computadora está de es, es otro lado. Mire, dos tiene ahí. Vaya, espérenme, le voy a regalar una para que la copie y la pegue. Bye. Ahí está ya. Oh, ok. Ahí está. Okay. <risa> I want to know if the man. No, pero el que le pusiste es, es este, ¿cómo se llama? Del otro, no, no, en la comita que te mandó. Sí, yo sé, yo sé, pero ya tengo sueño. <risa> I love <you>. oh, bueno. <risa> yes. Okay. Pero antes de el complete, creo que va R. Mm, control for R complete, ajá. Uh -huh. Are complete. Ahí deja un espacio y pone are. Ajá. Perfect. I'd like to find out. Okay, I have a question, you guys. In the question number two, uh, uh, is a statement or is a question? Within is a, is a question. Is Pero a mire cómo is a statement. No. Porque empieza is como a I like to. Entonces, good. ¿qué pasa al final? No, no, yo llevo a period. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Lo que sucede es que como programa que la regla es de que si viene con una, empieza como oh, con okay. una pregunta. Yeah, correct. Y aquí es como más afirmativo. You will go. Si sí, iremos. Uh -huh. I think. Veamos, veamos. Sí. But change, change the order because we will go. If we are, oh, see, sí. okay. We go. I think it's it's. Uh -huh. Quiero ver. Y la otra, la que le. We'll go for a small batch for mass production. You receive the quotes. You receive the quotes of the raw material providers. I'd like to find out, find out if they. Are the schedule of production. Aquí el DAS, el DAS, eh. Less. Yeah, does disappear. Mm -hmm. Do you know if
Okay, so let's see your answers, okay? Let me see. Okay, the number one, we say, can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing these processes, okay? Number two, I'm gonna go with Blanca. Can you tell me the answer to number two, please? Okay. I I like to know if will the manufacturer buy new machine machinery to produce or orders online? On time. On time. On time. A, dijo, I like to know if the man if we will if will. Okay, ahí solo creo que cambiaríamos y pondríamos I like to know if the manufacturer mm -hmm. will buy. Que will sería quien uh, antes de buy, okay? Okay. Okay. Y tenemos question mark al final, yes or no? Time. Question mark. Tenemos signo de pregunta al final, yes or no? No. no me. Okay, okay. Thank just you. Period. Okay, just period. Okay. Let's go with the next one. I'm going to ask Sandra. Can you tell me number three, please, Sandra? Excuse me, Miss. Um, no estuve presente porque me salí un ratito. Okay, okay. Maria Excuse Julia, me. can you tell me number three, please? Who miss? Maria Julia, I said. Okay. Okay, um, Johnny. Tell me. Number three, please. Number three. Okay, give me one second. Number three, do you know? Do you know if the schedule and production control are forms complete? Okay, so Kisaria, do you know if the schedule and production schedule. control forms, forms? are oh, okay. completed? Complete. Y aquí al oh, final okay. es completed, porque ya lleva el verbo to be, entonces son dos verbos juntos, tiene que ir en el pasado. Ya, yeah, are completed. Oh, okay. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Uh, Rafael Martinez, can you tell me number four, please? I'd like to find find out if the operation plan describes the process parameters. Okay, excellent. Good job. Solo quiero una pregunta. ¿Es describe este verbo? ¿Así lo tiene escrito como describe? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Rafael. Solo que como es das el auxiliar, entonces estamos hablando de que esta oración es de un presente simple, ¿verdad? De la tercera persona, estamos actuando como the operation. Entonces, como ya no va a llevar el das, ¿qué vamos a hacer con el verbo? Vamos a agregarle. Describes. Describes, excellent. Good job. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Uh, Monica, can you tell me number five, please? Um... Do you have any idea if we will go for a small beach or mass production? Small batch, small batch, okay. But yeah, uh, sorry. it's okay, excellent. Uh, Eric Reyes, can you tell me number six, please? Okay, okay. Uh, let me check this. I was wondering is did you receive the quote of the raw the raw material provided? Eh, siempre me dejó el did en la pregunta. No. So sería I was wondering if, if you received. If, if if yes. If you receive. Okay. Excellent. Y no lleva question mark al final. Oh yes. Yes, you have a question mark. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Question. 
It's, it's, it's just a simple, yeah, it's just a, it's just a sentence. So let's just una pregunta, okay? Okay, I'm going to confirm attendance because it's late already. So, solo voy a preguntar a los que estaban, los que no estaban al inicio. Angela is here? No. Nope. Blanca Isabel? Tunaca de Rodríguez? It's here. It's here. Okay, Eric José Reyes Molina? Eric Josué? No, I don't see him. Okay, uh, Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar? María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Ma Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. José Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Ok. Um, Omar C. No, Omar sí estaba. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Ok, excellent. That will be it for today. Enjoy your weekend. Que disfruten el fin de semana. And I will see you again on Monday. Okay? Miss, Miss, uh, I don't have, if you have some information for me. No about... tengo información. Del momento me han dicho que aquí está usted. Usted está aquí. Aunque no okay. esté pasando la asistencia. Pero en los minutos siempre está contando. Ok, thank you. Ok, bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 See you on Monday. Present, okay. present, present, teacher. Good night, good night. Excellent. Good night. Teacher. Ya. Yeah. Eh, fíjese que ahora estuve tratando de entrar a seguir haciendo los exámenes y todo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero eh, no sé por qué al desde el inicio me dio error en la plataforma y tuve que ingresar de nuevo. Y cuando me cargó de vuelta, eh, solo me carga la sesión 1 y 2 y de ahí no avanza a la 3 y la 4. De verdad. Sí, entonces lo volví a intentar tipo 4, pero... Ya ni siquiera me cargo la sesión 1 y 2. Vaya, vamos a hacer algo. Este, ahí en el grupo donde están todos los alumnos, busque uh -huh. a un contacto que está guardado como... En un segundo. Dice solo inglés corporativo, pero la foto tiene un muchacho que se llama... Ah, no, espérame, no es Mauricio. Creo que es otro, espérame, espérame, un ratito... A Jorge Solórzano, busque ahí a Jorge Solórzano. Le va a aparecer ahí, está el nombre y el, el, la foto de él. Escríbale y cuéntele el problema, dígale que necesita soporte técnico. Ah, va, está bien, entonces muchas gracias, adiós. Have a good night, bye. Thanks.